this question to heart based on what this woman just brought up. Um, is, is there a model, it seems like we can identify what we need as a community, okay? So is there a model or a questionnaire or something out there um, that we could draw from to say, to help us each community do what it needs analysis? And then another model to say, okay, what are some possible solutions? Okay, so in other words, uh, you know, suggesting, you know, are we going to have, you know, portable pens, or do should people have their own crate if they have an animal, you know, so, so that type of thing. So I think it looks like it's two prongs. Like one, each community has to identify, you know, I mean, on certain communities you don't need provisions for large animals because there isn't any. Um, you know, but something that, you know, it seems to be a framework. So is there anything out there at the federal level or any other community, like I'd love to know the name of their community that had that successful program that we could do to offer? I don't have that answer right at Dr. G. So you have it on the NASAP website. I mentioned that there were several products on there. There's a, a shelter in white paper. And it goes through all the considerations from setting up a shelter to closing a shelter and fostering the animals that weren't reclaimed. It talks about all of those issues. And it, it's not a, a template per se, but it brings up all the things to consider and you can start starting to think in that direction. And those, the people that developed that paper, are all the people from, people from national organizations that do this for a living and have responded to large scale disasters all across the United States? But Carol, I think you hit it right on the nail. Every community needs to go and start thinking what are the resources they have, what are the opportunities they have. Like Art said, there are a lot of communities where the school district doesn't even want to allow the shelter, the humans to be sheltered in there. So this is a negotiation. And it's not always easy to get a school to say, yeah, we're willing to have animals sheltered here. So again, the more people in the community step up to the plate, the more people are involved in disaster response, the more possibilities we're going to have to get what you want. Okay, I think that's one of the points. The whole thing that's, that's come out of it is that each community is individual. They all have different needs, and what works for Establish a meeting place and 
put your aims and so on. I think it's, it's a step at a time. And once the structure is developed, it grows. So that's your question. I would say that, that 
view card could be utilized at a large, you know, grade, so to speak, or an arrest or something like that, or maybe an arrest or situation, depends on where it is. No, the ASPCA is specifically requesting park volunteers from across the state to come and assist them because they understand what ICS is, they understand all of that, and it's much easier to take a volunteer that has familiarity to come into a large shelter operation and help them, whether it's cats, dogs, birds, whatever. So, we're looking specifically for Ulster County, but anywhere in the state. Uh, I just have a short question for Art. When a situation, emergency situation develops in the county, do you activate the county by town by town? Do you have a group of people that you work with at each town, the fire department or whatever, and activate them? And then if the emergency, it looks like it's spreading to another county, you activate Is it town by town? Then the car would be activated town by town? Well, we talked about all emergencies being local, okay? They start locally and they end locally. They may escalate up the path and then they de-escalate. So yes, they do start locally. And the classic first responders are the police fire and EMS community. As it expands from there, we'll draw in whatever resources are necessary. Some resources are a county-wide resource. I mentioned the, um, the, the racing group, the radio amateurs. We have a large um, uh, road race. We, Grab those racing volunteers from across the county position with the radios all over. The other night during the uh, the Hudson Festival, I made a call to Kathleen from the Red Cross because we needed to have a shelter to establish for the, uh, the people that were waiting for charter buses that didn't have a way to get out of the, uh, the festival grounds. I made one call to her that we have between 700 and 1,000 people. This is what I need, this is where I need. She took it from there. She got the, she mobilized her teams not only in Ulster, but in Dutchess as well, coordinated that aspect of it at the state level with other resources that might be needed, okay? That's the kind of concept that I, I would like to see with the CARP, okay? We make one call, CARP coordinator, this is the situation that we have. We have a, a, a barn fire in, uh, in Rochester, and we have 20 more suits that need to, need to be evacuated. The car coordinator has to know what resources are available. It's not going to be the same people that are responsible for domestic pets as the people with the large animal rescues. We want to be able to make one call to the car coordinator. We've got flooding uh, all along the, uh, the upper sofas. We're going to need to house X number. Coordinate that with the Red Cross, you know, human, pet, be married. So some, of the, so some of those people, it only starts locally, ends locally, but some of the resources get pulled in from uh, the far field. And, and if I could add to that, so the Red Cross goes to 70,000 fires a year. That's actually our biggest disaster. And a lot of times we have issues with animals. So that would be great to know that our DAT teams, which are the disaster action team, uh, we have some representatives here from that team, that they could call them on the car and get animal sheltering also for buildings that burn down or houses that burn down. That's very important because a lot of times hotels will not take animals. 